Hi, this is Miles Porter, two-time Paralympian. I'm on the Crystal Heart Show. It's the road to the 2012 London Olympics with the opening ceremony being Friday, July 27th. As a part of the kickoff, we're here in New York City where Times Square has been transformed into a festive Olympic village, shining a spotlight on the inspiring stories of the athletes that make up Team USA. We're here in Times Square at the 100 date celebration for the 2012 Olympics with somebody who's going to be competing in the Paralympics in London yes, right sir. afterwards. And and hope to be competing in both events, Miles Porter, Judoka. And Miles, it is good to see you here in New York. Hi, it's good to see you too. Thank you for taking your time out of your day to interview me. We're glad to do it because you have really an amazing story. And tell us about your introduction to Judo because I know you were in Ohio and you wrestled and it's a great wrestling state. But when you went to college, you took up Judo. It's kind of a little late start, but you've obviously done well. It, it was a very late start, and the main reason I got into Judo was I needed extra credit to be a full-time student in college. Uh, normally, you need 12 credits to live in the dorms, and I dropped a class, and I was down to 11, so my advisor only gave me three options, and I heard of Judo before, so I got into it and did my first tournament after a month, got hooked. You know, I took fourth out of four people, but made my first world team nine months into Judo, and it's been a whirlwind ever since. How was the transition from wrestling to judo? Obviously, it gave you some advantage, but it's also obviously also a different sport. Hey, you you learn your mind and your body, and you learn you learn angles in wrestling a lot. And I wasn't that great of a wrestler. I, I was okay. I could hold my own, but I was mediocre. Um, I was no state champ, nothing like that. But I found my niche in judo. Judo was uh, a lot more angles, a lot more things I did good in wrestling, but it was bad for wrestling. So it transitioned very very well in the sport of judo for me. With the new rules in judo, there's less of the groundwork. How is that affected? With the new, a lot of the, a lot of the new rules that affect us are the leg grabs and everything like that, like you're speaking of, um, because one of my main throws was grabbing legs, and a lot of people used it defensively. And one of my one of my teammates for Beijing, he used it so offensively, he taught me how to do it, and and it took my main throw out of it. So I had to learn a whole new set of skills leading up to 2012 games. Now, you recently got a gold medal at the Power Pan competition. Yes, I know you defeated a Brazilian that had beaten you a couple of times before. But tell us about trying to get on the Olympic team, which you didn't make, and you did make on the Paralympic team. How is it going back and forth between those two events? It's, it's really hard because Paralympic judo, you start with the grip. Sided judo, you don't. So it's two different styles of judo. You, you flow more on the sided side of judo because Paralympic side, they lock you down, and it's two different types of judo, so I really have to get in the right mindset of what tournament I'm in at certain times, because 99% of our tournaments are with sighted guys. I, I travel all, all around the world and fight at our World Cups, Grand Slams, you know, fight around the country as well, and the only times I really fight in um, Paralympic tournaments, maybe twice a year, World Championships, German Open, maybe a few others, but the big events are really it for us. Other than that, we fight sighted guys. How is it having the opportunity also with the Paralympic Games, given your vision problems? Your vision is worse than mine, but mine isn't good at all, which is why I got the sunglasses on. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the opportunity that provides for, for athletes. Uh, it's a great opportunity. It, 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 it gives you more exposure, it gives the country more exposure to people with uh, physical disabilities. and. Paralympics is awesome awesome as well because my brother's in the military and I take military very seriously and injured military coming back from Afghanistan Iraq Paralympics is starting to do a big big thing with the initiative of having grassroots programs just community based programs for the injured military coming back um, getting them back into recreation and getting them back into that not even being the next Paralympian just helping them and putting putting everything in perspective of getting them back with their kids maybe or just getting them back in real life and that's a big thing for me. And that's what being in the Paralympics and me being an ambassador of the sport is also opening up for the whole country. How much are you able to do also, because you said you are in the sighted judo tournaments, how much are you able to keep up with that? How much am I able to do what? I'm sorry, the how much you able? They got the music playing. How much are you able to keep up with that given the vision problems? Um, I try to keep up as much as possible. I'm always going to be at a disadvantage, so I'm so used to being uncomfortable, being on the mat and being in matches. But my coach doesn't take it easy on me. Um, 
my teammates don't take it easy on me. I train with sighted guys. I get treated like the sighted guys. I came from a nobody from Ohio, and now, you know, I'm a team leader at the Olympic Training Center. You know, I'm the number one guy in the U.S. I'm ranked number two on the sighted side, so it's it's been it's been awesome, and I try to hold my own as much as possible. Do you have any plans after judo, after this Olympics? you want to continue coaching or anything? Uh, maybe coaching, but the first thing I have to get out of the way is my fiance is waiting to get married, so we got engaged in November, and I'm putting off a wedding until next May. Because I can't do a I can't do a wedding in the Olympics in the same year. I think I'll explode. Very busy. Congratulations. Thank you, I think sir. what you're doing is real inspiring to a lot of people, both blind and visually impaired people, and people all over by competing and, and, and not letting it hold you back. Thank you, sir. I definitely appreciate it. I, I I I look at myself. I look at myself as someone that can emphasize just because I have a disability doesn't mean I'm at a disadvantage. I try to do everything like everybody else does. The only thing people don't let me do is drive, but I see how people that can see drive, so I don't understand why not. You're in New York. You don't have to drive here. Oh, it's, it's, that's this is the best part. It's awesome. I love being here. If people want to follow you online, are you active a website or Facebook or Twitter? Or I do have a Twitter. I just got a Twitter in February because they told me I should probably get one. It's Miles underscore Porter. Good. We'll send you a tweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Good luck. Hey, have a great one. Thank you. Thank you, sir.